Hi Aries, these are your channeled messages and your reading for mid-October 2020. So Aries, I have some channeled messages here for you that I got clear audiently while I was tapping into your energy, and I'm going to go ahead and start with those. And this video could resonate for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Aries, the first message I got was outrunning the circumstances. And then I kind of tapped into it a little more. I mean, that main statement there was the important message, but it seemed like for some of you Aries, it could be that you're outrunning the circumstances of your upbringing or something that maybe had you feeling like less advantaged. And then I heard daylight brings promise of new hope. Then the next thing I heard was trying to wrap things up at work conveniently with the passing of time. The next thing I heard was uh, that someone Aries is joining the Marines. So it could be you or it could be someone in your family or someone that's close to you. And then for another Aries, I heard marrying a childhood sweetheart. Then I heard rendering cash for services. So Aries, if you have some type of business, it seems like you're doing well there in the end of October, or at least making some money. And the last thing I heard Aries was tricking the former lover with gifts. And so whoever that's for, you'll just have to take that however it resonates. I didn't really want to tap more into that energy exactly. So if it shows up in the reading, then it does. But otherwise, um, I just don't have too much of an opinion on tricking the former lover with gifts. So Aries, let's go ahead and get some cards for you to see what your general energy is going to be in the end of October. And actually, Aries, let's make it more specific. Let's see what the energy in the end of October is for you for your career or work situation. So we have conflict in reverse, which is a number 28, and it says discord, disagreements, and common ground. So Aries, if you felt in a time of conflict in uh, your work situation, I think this means that you're going to come out of that time of conflict, possibly on the 28th of October. So let's see if Spirit has anything else they'd like to tell you about this conflict in reverse for your career situation, Aries. So then we have seeing differently also in the reverse. Um, so it's a number 30 and it says uniqueness, roles, and variation. So Aries, possibly you're coming out of a conflict that had to do with someone not seeing the same as you, um, or there was some kind of struggle with roles at work, like defining the roles at work or the workload. So, you know, maybe the conflict just had to do with um, someone being kind of stubborn is honestly what I'm seeing um, and someone not seeing maybe your point of view as far as what varying roles at work or workloads would do to be helpful in a situation. So let's see if there is anything else that Spirit would like to tell you about this. Whoops, I almost said that the wrong way, but these seem to want to be there. So um, we have community that was in the reverse. It's a number 34 and it says contribute, communication, and tribe. So, and then we had distance in the upright, a number 38, divide, separation, and discord. So, <laughs> so I think Aries, the conflict at work is over and not that it's maybe resolved exactly, but it seems like the actual conflict stage of something like this has already taken place. And sometimes that can be helpful um, to hear because a lot of us don't really love conflict and it might make us uncomfortable. I mean, most people genuinely 
would prefer not to be in conflict. So, you know, it can be kind of um, comforting to know that the big blow up or whatever, all the what ifs, you know, has kind of come to a head already. And now it seems like you could be dealing with the fallout of this situation still. Like I said, it may not be completely resolved because it doesn't seem like there was a coming together with people um, accepting differences or accepting the new way things are going at work. And then it's kind of like the whole community is feeling like it's breaking down, um, you know, with this hive imagery that's very work-like as well. So just like disharmony and discord in, in, you know, the not management levels, I would say, at a work organization, resulting in distance, divide, separation, and discord kind of for all. Um, but if this is a, like a two-person situation and that's how this is resonating for you, this card does symbolize two people that, you know, just like are not interested in seeing the other point of view, which, you know, I mean, basically is said so many ways here anyway, that this one bird looks kind of really angry. <laughs> and this other one is like not trying to hear why he feels that way. He's just like, la la, I'm totally thinking about something that has nothing to do with this because that's how little I care. So um, let's see what spirit can tell you, Aries, um, like a healing message just about how to handle this energy in the end of October. Since you know, this is for a pretty short time frame. We didn't get all the beautiful outcomes that may come from something like this because it's only a two week time frame. So let's just see if Spirit can give you a general message in the end of this career situation um, that is healing for you right now. Okay, so this is a bunch of cards, so we are just going to read them all together because it'll make a sentence. Okay, so we have protect your soul, unlock your highest potential, and turn on your electric light. So there might be kind of a need to protect yourself in this situation, Aries, because, you know, with all this discord and stuff going around, it could just be kind of some negative vibes there that you could pick up, you know, just kind of from the environment um, if you're a sensitive person or energetically sensitive. And then this will help you to unlock your highest potential in this situation. Because like I was reading it in the beginning, Aries, this is all, you know, there's like a lot of people involved and I guess I wasn't getting your energy so strongly as being you know, this problem or this situation that's happening at work is just kind of part of a bigger whole. It wasn't, didn't speak to me like Aries has a problem at work with one other person. If you even really have a problem, I mean, it just seems to be, I don't want to call it a toxic work environment, but that, I mean, that's kind of what it seems like. So, you know, maybe just doing some protection practices can help you, um, to just stay in your natural vibe, in your natural zone, and resonating and uh, vibrating high. So yeah, turn on your electric light. And there does seem to be a need here, Aries, to speak your truth. And you may not feel like you have done that or can do that at this time. But I do see that that could be something that could take some of the weight off of this situation as well. But I do also see that, you know, you aren't feeling super strongly about actually doing that at this time. So, and it, and if you have good reasons for it, I wouldn't want to dissuade you otherwise, but that's just a message from spirit. So, um, strength in your foundation also came out with that speak your truth. So it seems like if you do decide to speak your truth about something that's going on in this situation or something you have to add, it could actually, um, you know, make your job more secure there is what I think. 
and then go all in on your essence and awaken your reptilian nature and speak from your heart. So again, just like really getting down to how you feel about this situation and why you might be feeling a certain way about it after you can remove some of those underlying energies that may be coming from other people in the environment. And again, another message about, you know, speaking your truth or speaking from your heart. So if it's kind of a hard truth, you feel like you might need to deliver to someone else or to the management or whatever the case is. I think that you're a very kind and gentle person, Aries. So if you speak from your heart, I think it will come out that way and come off that way. I think it might be actually, like, I just don't think that you're that person that people really, um, take their words the wrong way like that and think, oh, Aries was being mean when they said this, when they were just trying to assert their boundaries or something. That's just not the vibe I get from you. So if you just, you know, speak from your heart, I think it's going to, it's going to work out in your best interest, Aries. So then we have this whole set here, which is arm your spiritual warrior. So again, more messages about doing some spiritual practices or some grounding practices like before and after work or even at work or if you wear crystals or something like that, you know, this is something you might want to like amp up at this time uh, when you go to work and then feed your fires. So there's probably some things outside of work areas that you know, can help you to feel grounded and like yourself when you're off the clock. So that could be something good at this time to remind yourself that you have other passions in your life and just taking some of the focus off of some of the work stuff when you can. And then deepen your intuition about the situation. So um, this did come out in the reverse. So, you know, when there's a high stress, like high conflict situation happening, sometimes we can get disconnected from our inner guidance or, um, you know, our empathic nature or intuition. So maybe you are just seeing some surface level stuff about this situation and not quite seeing the deeper meaning or, um, just not using your intuition as much as it seems like you could in this situation. There's just something else to be known, I guess. And then uh, stretch the limits of your imagination. So actually, it seems like a pretty out there thing that could be going on underneath this all. But Aries, it seems like you have an especially special ability um, with your empathy and your intuition to kind of investigate this more fully. I'm... I guess I shouldn't say really too much about what I think, you know, could happen since it's not out there, since this is only for the next two weeks. But I just think this is going to really like highlight your, you know, interpersonal skills or your kind of intuitive or empathic abilities at this time for you. So that's what I have for your career, Aries. And I think I'm going to end it here, Aries. So... Um, I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.